Hey, what's up guys? Meal Skull here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 14. Uh, when we left off, we lost all of our goop on the spaceship, on the freighter. Uh, we're looking for a scientist somewhere around here. I don't know if we're going to find one, but we're going to try. He's a Korvac somewhere, right? Two of them, and I don't think either of them is. We visited you. Um, he doesn't want to be our scientist. I guess. Not that one. We might try a different space station. I don't know. He's an analyst. Uh huh. You don't want to work for us, okay? We're gonna find one. So it's not these two, and I think these are the only two Corvacs here, honestly. What? Don't mind if I do. Oh, is that a uh, navigation data? It is. Dang, I'm missing out on all these little freebies. Is there more around? Oh, we did this. You wouldn't happen to be a, a place in your throne world. Um, it's a craft terminal. We can hire him for this for the ship, right? I'm not worthy of my skills. I have no choice. I will flee to your vile world. I will. I will become an interloper. There you go. Now, where's your buddy? There's all sorts of little sneaky little spots. All right. Return to my base. I'm not returning to my base yet. I need a scientist. Not you. Not you. Nobody hiding up here. How about this one? No? This one? Encrypted navigation data. What about that one? I didn't know they were like hiding stuff on me. Doesn't surprise me, but. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing in the corners? Okay, we're leaving. We're gonna find a scientist. This is my ship. There's some awesome ones around here, but I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Alright, cool system. We're out of here. Is this a new system, by the way? Totally is. I haven't, I haven't discovered anything here. Let's see. Um, I'm looking for planets. There's just one here and then a moon, it looks like, on the other side, maybe. Or another planet, but... Come over here and see if we can see it. Oh, it doesn't show me my map. I know it's behind... Wait, that's about the most obstructed view ever. Also, I meant to buy an infra knife for this ship. Let's get behind this bad boy. There we are. Ah, there you are. Hello, little planet. Vapor planet. And that's got paraffinium. We gotta go get paraffinium. We need it for our, uh... Our, uh... Fixer-upper. Our fixer-upper ship. How's everybody doing today? Speaking of which, I'm doing good. Doing good. Not much more uh, to say about that. <laughs> Life is good. Everything's good. I want to be on the sunny side of the planet. I know. I know. I'm spoiled. 
close enough is close enough too, but good enough. Right here. Go this way. Vapor planet, huh? Is it gonna be like super foggy? I tell you, I don't think I've ever been to a vapor planet. We got some sort of metal here. I can't remember what color paraffinium is. We shall find out. That might be copper. Oh, landing area is not clear. Okay. How about this one? Sure. That makes sense. Holy moly, falling off the mountain already. Yeah, let's come up here and take a look around. Um, what do we got? Knowledge stone nearby. Um, what's that deposit? It's right here. Copper. We don't need copper. We do need copper, but. Um, copper paraffinium. Here we go. Should we go for a walk? How friendly are you? Diet. Algae. Can only hope, right? A weird planet. Maybe we'll fly over there. A lot of unknowns. Gotta play it safe, right? That was a weird takeoff. Also, before I need to run. I didn't even see what the weather was like. Okay, good enough. Hopefully all you things are nice. Otherwise I'll have to eradicate you. Let's just hope that uh Okay. A lot of animals around. Busy place. So I know everybody's gonna play nice. There you go. Okay, play nice. Dino Donato. Okay, you play nice. <laughs> We're just getting them out because I'm unsure. Okay, anyway. Get our paraffinium. Drop the ship. We can run and dodge and duck and roll. If we need to. Hopefully we won't need to. Hopefully everybody just sees me and says, yeah, we better not mess with that guy. That would be ideal. If I see any red paws around, that's when I need to start, uh... Oh! My own guy! Dino! <laughs> you gave me a heart attack! <laughs> oh my goodness. You are very, very cute. Please go somewhere else, okay? <laughs> Don't sneak up on me like that ever again. What kind of storm? Superheated? Can I handle that? Be able to, right? You hit everything pretty much, probably. Yeah, okay. 
Oh man, my life support's not handling that well, is it? Um, let's use the life support gel. I don't have superheated um, protection. I have to work on that sometime. 96. We have 7 Celsius. I need to find more paraffinium and just go that way. Cargo, cargo. I understand, but... Copper, copper. Cobalt. Okay. We'll fly somewhere. We will fly somewhere. We'll go this way. I forgot to check the space station too. That would have been a good place to look. Something here. Oh no, it's just rendering in. Cobalt. Sack. Let's see. Copper. Um. Copper. Nothing? Again? Okay, well. We're in the middle of a storm, so I mean, we'll find something eventually. Hopefully. Perfect. Am I going back the way I came? I do that sometimes. Okay. Um. It's about we go over here. Then we go here. There we go. Should be far away enough for something. Okay, we're on the high ground. Not a storm. Sentinels are minimal. Cobalt. Let's see. It's a paraffinium deposit. Alright. What are you? Diet. Crunches bones. Okay. Well, that would be a predator, right? Not anymore. Questions? Okay. I didn't know if he was a predator or not, but his diet's bones, so. I don't know what I am. <laughs> that was a good spot. Perfect. Perfect mining location. Did I get too close to it? We shall see. Nope, we're good. Alright, you need to move. Scan you. Sense organs and feet. And we got some weird stuff going on here. Okay. That's a big chunk. Ah, 
don't know if I'm efficiently mining or not. I just need it, so. Um, you guys can correct me in the comments. <laughs> A lot of people have. They think I don't know how to uh, melee and then jetpack like this. I don't know. It seems to be everybody's, like, secret. You know, that. <laughs> what am I doing? Am I in a mood today? It's my problem. Am I being sassy? Maybe a little. Maybe a little. It's all good. It's all in love, guys. Getting okay, I am, but this is kind of a big deposit here. Can't say no to the silicate either, really. I mean, it's good to have everything's good to have in this game. Maybe if I get rid of all these boxes, I'll see the, the actual ore. I gotta tell you guys, video games know how to do ore. This is like some of the richest ore I've ever seen. And I see ore every day at my job. So. And if it was like pure like this, like you had no, no tailings, <laughs> you'd be like, yeah. enough good enough hey everybody friendly friendly everything here is friendly apparently okay well that's how we're gonna play it I say we get out of here I say we find a new star um have I done everything I want to do here sure I couldn't find one at the... find a uh, scientist at this base, so I say we just move on. We just go to the next place, right? I mean... Let's see... Um... Right? Yeah, I mean... What else do I have to do here? I could go to a Corvax system. My hyperdrive has no fuel. Oh, I was like, is it broken? No. Okay. Metal plating. Antimatter. Antimatter housing with the metal plating, right? Warp cell. This can go... Do I have a spot for it here? No, I don't. Wasn't that anyway? Good enough. Um, map. The next place. Am I going towards the galactic core? What am I doing? What am I even doing with my life? Conflict 3. I visited that place. I don't want to go back to where I was. Indium drive required. We don't have that. That's a core pack system. Got a couple planets. It's got water. Let's do it. There's got to be a scientist here, right? one. What's the big guy? 
Who are you? You are a frostbound planet. Um, you are the moon. A charred moon and a frozen planet. Or frostbound planet, I guess. And you with the rings are corrupted planet. Okay, cool. There's more. Holy cow. There's this one and it has a moon. Low atmosphere planet. Copper, silver, rusted metal. The moon. Desert planet. And what are you? Viridescent planet. Three, four, five, six planetary bodies that I can see. Okay, anyway, let's go to the station first. Did I? Yes, okay, these are the three. Got it. Okay. Hopefully there's a scientist here who wants to go live in the middle of nowhere. Maybe um, the slot for the Korvac scientist was taken up by Apollo's um, contact. That would make sense, right? You there. So new something something. I become aware of a faint buzzing noise. Um, have a casing. Increase my standing with the Corvax. Is that that's an that's a traveler like me? Uh, let's learn technology symbol. Thank you. You there. Hello, Traveler. I approach the Lost Traveler. Their skin is translucent, as if they were not truly there. Hmm, unexpected. Hello, my new friend. What business would you have with me? The life form tries to shake my hand, but pauses as we phase through one another. They are fascinated, fascinated by the encounter, claiming to be a Traveler. It is clear they come from a very different region of space. They have never heard of the Gek, Viking, Corvax, or any of the sites I have encountered. They wish to know more in the spirit of cooperation. Um, let's tell them everything. Why not? Tell the traveler about the species I have encountered, sharing with them my scans, the names of planets I have been to, the words I have learned. They are curious, asking more and more. Nothing I say satisfies them. Eventually, disappointed, they grow quiet. They hand me a gift, thanking me for what little I was able to tell them. Okay, cool. A memory fragment. Which will lead me somewhere. That looks like a scientist. Why would you say that about some random guy? Because he's standing right next to this guy. And that's suspicious. I'm fluent with learning 20 words of a language. Um, you're not. Dang it. Well, here, have a case. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. And learn me a word. Any word. Any one of these. Just pick one. Aggression. Okay, thank you. How about you, analyst? You're not either. Have a casing. <laughs> that one. Okay, thank you. Are you... are you my scientist? No? I'll just learn words and move on then. One of you has to be my scientist. Research entity! Come on! No? Ok, 
Okay, come on. <laughs> Please, one of you. I'm dying here. Trade symbol. Okay, thank you. I haven't talked to you yet. You're not the guy either. How about you? Interface entity. I visited you. You're a cartographer. It's definitely not you. Hmm. Dang, am I lost? I haven't found a scientist yet. I wish it would give me a... Give me a waypoint. Hire staff from space stations. I would love to. I would love to, honestly. You. You're the one. Unknown life form, I passed my test. I am free to explore, free to pursue my passion of structure for structural analysis. Do you have a base, a science terminal? Think of all that might be done. The Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessitating them to go in out into the universe and pursue their interests. The scientist offers to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Yes. Think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's done. Got our upgrade here. Let's we'll see if we can get an infra knife accelerator from you. Do you actually sell the module, or do I need to learn to craft it? Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Infra knife, infra knife module. I need to learn to craft it, but I have this, right? Okay, hold on. Maybe I don't have it. I swear I had it. Hmm. Do I have anything to sell? I'm not sure if I actually do. I got these. I guess I can sell them. I've got data. I can go to the um, the anomaly and learn things to build. Let's see. I've got Gek relics. Still got Viking effigy. Got a little bit of goop. Still kind of salty about that. Could get rid of this tech. Base technology. Eh, sell it. I know. I need this. Um, sure. Sell this contraband. It's not that big of a deal. I haven't made any room. Anyway. Well, should I go... I guess I can just re teleport to my base. Teleport to my base, do the science stuff. Um, actually, honestly, I'd like to be on my freighter. 
I want to see what I can get fixed on that ship. I know, it's a slow go, guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's all part of the game, though. I mean, oh, that was weird. Let's get our freighter here. see what's in my starship got some gold got some platinum I have a spot I'll take it More gold I guess um, platinum Do I have any silver on me no I do now where I have this. There we go. Okay. Let's go repair what we can. The scientist is going to need all sorts of weird stuff, but... Okay, let's see. I don't have chlorine yet. I do have the chromatic metal for this hyperdrive. Um, it's probably important. Oh, it's already there. Okay, got this. Let's see, we need this. So we got shields back. Let's see. Nothing else is like... Oh, we need more chromatic metal for that. Perfinium and Pugnium. Okay. Like I said, we're just going to get what we can, really. I need more chromatic metal. <laughs> Perfect. I have to be in the con Okay. I have to be in the construction area <laughs> to do that. Um, so chromatic metal. This is magnetized ferrite and chlorine. Don't have that yet. Get this repaired. see this good 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 okay we're out of paraffinium for that But we're getting stuff fixed, so... The good thing about this is it opens up, um... It opens up inventory slots. Or maybe it doesn't. I forgot to check the trade terminal too, because they got stuff. I need 12 antimatter for that. Antimatter is kind of a pain in the butt, isn't it? Um, let's see. Chromatic metal and condensed carbon. Okay. Well, yeah. We did some stuff. Okay. Scientist. Um, I don't have a teleport here, do I? Now I gotta go back to the station. And then go to <laughs> the base. And talk to the scientist. Lots of fun stuff going on here. I also gotta go to the anomaly. 
and uh, turn in some salvage data for some blueprints. Yeah, there's plenty to do in this game. I think we'll go to the base and see what the scientist has to say. Hopefully he gives me some, uh, some stuff. Let's see, new beginnings. Get something to drink. Thirsty. Tea. It's a blackberry smash brisk iced tea. It's okay. It's really sugary for me. But it's alright. It's good. Dang, you think portals would work quicker? Just kidding. <laughs> hey! He's already here. How are we doing on power? Uh, it's only been like 13 hours. Okay, let's visit the scientist. A fine base traveler, as of course befits your honorable status. Oh, Corvax shall be so happy here. The Corvax is brimming with enthusiasm. Neither their shell nor the walls of my base seem to be seem able to contain them. Let's request aid. Honor. To witness the monolith of the Traveler. Honor, but please, Corvax contribute. Take these blueprints, lubricant and acid. Liquids close to Corvax hearts. Alright, I didn't have to unlock those, so that's awesome. Traveler harvest morrow bulb and Corvax will do more. We'll create plans for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. I don't have windows. The Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me travelers are to be honored, raised above all others. What have I done to earn such esteem? The scientist requires marble and cobalt, materials found underground. They will be able to use this substance to craft blueprints for microprocessors and advanced refiners. Let's do it. Joy, our home will be light and our windows will be clean. Okay, so the starship has to take some stuff. Um, that. Take the platinum. Take the gold. The gold. Where's my gold at? Take the AG. And the AU. Where's the AU? There it is. That'll open up a few slots. Um. Eh. Sure. Need some need some meat. <laughs> okay, let's go find some uh, marble real quick. Caves aren't far. Caves aren't far. We gotta find a cave, but they aren't far, right? I know there was a cave like Bingo. I think that's a cave anyway. And I think that these kind of uh like Titan mites carry cobalt. Cobalt. Hold on. We're doing this one. Don't get me off track telling me to go find Apollo and whatever. some cobalt. A marrow bulb shouldn't be far. Right? There it is. Marrow bulb. I 
don't know how much he wants. Oh, I guess I've got it. I mean, is that all he wanted? Okay, I guess uh, I won't complain. Traveler, I've prepared your blueprints. Please hur but please hurry, something has happened. The Corvax seems changed from the happy soul they were on my departure. They are fighting their worry, trying to stay focused on their promise to me. There you go. The Corvax leans forward, anxious for the rest of their materials. The Corvax has completed the plans, but Traveler, they have my people have abandoned me. As of 104.32 seconds ago, I lost the hearing, the sight of the Corvax Convergence. Uh-oh. Cool. Got the microprocessor and the large refiner. I seek immediate reconnection. Go to this transmission tower. Enter my soul. Discover what is wrong. Help Corvax with solitude, please. Convergence entity, uh... Ver Veroper... Veropre is deeply upset, claiming that they have been disconnected from the Corvax hive mind. The scientists asked me to take their personality core to a transmission tower for analysis. Let's do it. Core removed. Entity offline. Alright. And it's nearby. Cool. Not enough fuel. This is why I made a billion of them. Alright, how far away are we? Whoa! Whoa! Approximate location. There's a tower around here. Hmm. Bingo. Okay, transmission tower. First we're gonna loot this place. Get that goop. Build our goop supply up again. Nights, carbon. So this one. Nothing. Can I sit in a weird chair? I used to be able to sit in these, even when they're down. Looks really awkward. Anyway. made a uh, atlas pass yet. I think I'm missing the things for it now. I need a microprocessor. Easy. I'm missing things for microprocessor. Carbon nanotubes. Microprocessor. Atlas pass. There we go. I usually keep this on me. Let's see, where's my residual goop? There it is. Three goops. <laughs> and then, here, this goes over here. And I usually keep it in that slot. So we got one, two, and threes usually, where I keep them for no real reason, but... And, yeah. Okay. 
We're going in. Can't say no to free stuff. Try not to say no to free stuff. Hello, mining overseer. The trader emits a strong flowery scent, which quickly enters my exosuit system. I feel overcome with the nostalgia for a perfect place I have never visited. I want to sing. Stupid friend. <laughs> something something, friend. Flushed with joy, I try to signal my thanks to the trader for this uh, olfactory gift. But they make it clear that they expect something in return. Have some units, you're a geck. You like money. Trader takes my units, but shakes their head. The beautiful scene collapses. I feel a crushing disappointment. Really, the one geck that doesn't want... Like, just money? Okay. Well, fine. Shall we get on with it? I think we should. Terminal online. I prepare to insert the Corvax Intelligence Core into the transmission tower. The judgment of the Corv... Uh, the judgment of the Convergence awaits. Hear judgment. Terminal online. Connection established. Error. Diagnostic. Corvax Science Unit corrupted by Traveler Interaction. Personality overwritten. Anomaly involvement detected. Solution. Quarantine Corvax Science Unit from Convergence. Observe. Analyze. Silence. Hypothesis. Sentinel. Atlas. Universal, universal foci. Countermeasure in progress. Risk assessment. Entropic. Galactic destruction. Rebirth. Error. Atlas. Error. 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 They see you. They see you. Return to the scientist. Turn online. Connection failed. The terminal continues to broadcast the signal, but there is no response. Radio waves make their way across the void unanswered. Broadcast personal communicator ID. There's no reply. Okay, fine. You don't want to be my friend? I don't want to be their friend. Are you really that disappointed, dude? They gave you a hundred buckaroonies. If somebody gave me a hundred bucks, I'd be like... Pretty happy about it. Okay, fine. You can just oversee mining here alone. Okay. okay, back to the scientist. Eventually, we're going to have a landing pad. Eventually, I hope we're going to have a pretty cool base. It's not just a dark box. <laughs> but we got to learn stairs and stuff. I think. Convergence, convergence Entity... Uh, Vero prays shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. Trapped inside the data core, I have no way of knowing how the Corvax has taken the encounter at the transmitter. Let's reinsert the core. Shell reconnection in progress. I should let the Cor Corvax get on with their business. Okay, so he's rebooting. It's going to take time. Time that I'm probably not going to get back to today. Things are going well, friend, but it will not be long before violence follows us here. It is inevitable. I, if I had some microprocessors, I could steal a, a march on fate. Yes, I could. I would design a weapons terminal suitable for a Viking armorer. Overseer asked me for microprocessors in order to design weapons. A weapons terminal. The scientist should be able to assist with the task. Let's accept it. To a gek, uh, that's um has been helpful so far and I have no reason to distrust them. 
I shall find them the microprocessors they need. How many do I need? Um, scientific research. Return to the technician. No, I need um. Not that. Not that. Expanding the base. That's what it is. Expanding the base. This one. Okay. I can do this. Microprocessor requires... Ah. Chromatic metal. Which, again, we don't have... Do I have a... Large refiner? We don't have that yet. Okay. Uh, I'm abandoning you guys. We'll be back for them sometime. <laughs> Return to the technician. The technician's on... on the ship. Let's see. I want to go to... previous... previous location. I guess I could go back to my current location. Fleet command room, right? Um, it's the same place, right? Sure. Four planets, two moons? Yeah. I think that's what it was. I said six, six planetary bodies. Yeah. Should we chase Apollo? I think we should chase Apollo soon. Uh, I should summon the anomaly. I should also get more exo suit upgrade charts. I need the inventory space. Another reason to get that ship going because it's a bigger... got more inventory slots. Um... What are you all looking at? You turned to my base. No, we're done with that. That's how I feel about that right now. Okay. Yeah, this guy needs some help. If it's checked off, okay, I don't have to add it again. It says repaired. Okay. I need a lot of chromatic metal. We need to get somewhere. Let's go to the anomaly, and that's where we'll end it. I want to get to the anomaly because um, if we get a different drive. How's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. What are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? But on to more important things. If you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. We can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic, really. The same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their deaths. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and sp space stations to get the technology you need. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift with my little investment uh, into our partnership. Okay, I already got it, but cool. Thanks, buddy. Um... Okay, anyway, let's go in here. Sorry if that made you dizzy. Social activity! Oh, look at this. The ships are wiggling. <laughs> Alright guys. Um, yeah. 
want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, leave me a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, tell your friends. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!